morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Boston. We're the daily podcast that gets you started on the right foot and always with a positive vibe. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Friday, December 15th. You'll be interested to know today is National Ugly Sweater Day. People all over the nation trade their casual garments for something more festive for Ugly Sweater Day. Whether you find a hidden gem to wear or you make your own one thing's for sure, this holiday will certainly have you laughing all day long. Only 10 more days until Christmas, folks. Now let's check out the weather in the Boston area. This morning, it's partly cloudy and feels like 25 degrees with 13 mile per hour wind. Tonight, the sun will set at 4.12 p.m. and it will rise again tomorrow at 7.06 a.m. It looks like we're in for a day of sun with a high near 52. West wind 10 to 13 mile per hour. Tonight, mostly clear with a low around 36. West wind 7 to 9 mile per hour. And looking ahead. Saturday, a high near 48. Cloudiness increases by night with lows around 36. Rain chances begin Sunday afternoon, turning likely by night with a high near 53. Heavy rain is expected on Monday with strong southeast wind and a high near 59. Rain continues into Monday night with chances decreasing through Tuesday. The first low tide today just before 6.30 a.m. with a high tide at 12.30 p.m. The nearshore buoy at Cape Cod Bay reads 47 degrees for the water temperature. In the national weather, heavy snow will slowly subside across the southern Rockies and southern plains today. Energy from that system is forecast to develop a storm system in the Gulf of Mexico and track northward along the east coast this weekend. Heavy rain, a few thunderstorms, and increasing wind are in the forecast. Meanwhile, strong northeast wind will affect Hawaii through Friday alongside dangerous high surf. And now a greeting from our sponsor. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in the divine experience of their amazing Hags Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them Sunny sent you. In top news. The FDA is warning against using certain pet medications from nine companies as they contain antimicrobials for human health and could contribute to drug resistance. These products, which include amoxicillin, penicillin, tetracycline, and erythromycin, have not undergone an FDA review and are sold illegally over the counter. Improper use could harm both human and animal health. Pet owners are advised to dispose of these drugs, consult licensed veterinarians for pet treatment, and report any adverse effects to the FDA. The nine companies are American Aquarium Products, Aquanest Biotic, Aquarium Pharmacy, California Veterinary Supply, Chewy, Craft Drug, Midland Veterinary Services, Silver Lease, and Valley Veterinary Clinic. Now let's talk science. Researchers have determined early risers might have genetic variants inherited from Neanderthals, increasing their likelihood of being morning people, according to a new study. This adaptation evolved by Neanderthals who lived in high latitudes with significant seasonal daylight variation, might have been passed to early Homo sapiens as they migrated north and interbred with Neanderthals. The study analyzing DNA from humans, Neanderthals, and Denisovans found that certain Neanderthal DNA in modern humans correlates with being an early riser. This finding suggests that ancient human interbreeding still influences our body clock and sleep patterns. While well, that explains why I wake up so late, I apparently wasn't interbred with Neanderthals. Good news for me. And in Wall Street business news, 
Rivian Automotive stock surged following its announcement of a deal with AT&T to supply electric vehicles for AT&T's fleet. This deal, which includes electric delivery vans and other EVs, marks Rivian's first major agreement since ending its exclusivity deal with Amazon. Rivian stock rose over 10%, potentially its largest one-day increase since July. Additionally, AT&T will become the exclusive provider of connectivity for Rivian vehicles in the U.S. and Canada. This positive news has also influenced the broader EV and automobile stock market, with notable increases in shares of Tesla and General Motors. Rivian shares have risen 20% this year, slightly underperforming the S&P 500's 23% gain. And checking on crypto for the week, Bitcoin is up 40% this month and holding around $43,000. Ethereum is up 15% to $2,286. And Dogecoin is up about 40% as well to just under 10 cents. Now on to sports. Last night in Thursday night football, the Chargers, well, they didn't win. The score at halftime was 42 to zero. And the final score was 63 to 21. Yes, I said that correctly. 63 to 21. Moving on. Looking forward to the games this Saturday with Vikings at Bengals, Steelers at Colts, and Broncos at Lions. Then on Sunday, Two big ones, Cowboys at Bills and Ravens at Jags. And the Pats are at home, taking on the Chiefs at 1 p.m. In the NBA. Last night, the Celtics won at home against the Cavs, 116 to 107. They continued their unbeaten streak at home, moving to 12 and 0. Jason Tatum led the Celtics with 27 points, supported by Jalen Brown's 22 points. Chris Dubs Porzingis, Drew Holiday, and Derek White also contributed significantly, despite the Cavaliers' efforts, led by Donovan Mitchell's 31 points. Boston maintained control throughout the game. The Celtics' efficient play and strong shooting were key factors in their victory, with all five starters scoring in double figures. The win further solidifies Boston's position as a leading team in the Eastern Conference. The Celtics next face the Orlando Magic, while the Cavaliers play the Atlanta Hawks. In National Hockey. Tonight, the Bruins are on the road to take on the Islanders, and tomorrow, take on the Rangers. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a National Pilates studio in your area to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the Boston area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well being. Scientific research affirms its benefits, connecting Pilates to enhanced core strength, improved flexibility, and better posture. It's a well supported avenue for physical and mental health in just a few dedicated sessions. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Canton, Wellesley, Hingham, Brookline, and Framingham. Be sure to tell them Sunny Mornings sent you by. And now back to the show. In local news, Snowport, a lavish winter holiday market, has opened in Boston's Seaport District. Running until December 31, it features over 120 vendors, many local to New England, offering a range of products from jewelry to artisanal goods. The market is a hub for holiday shopping and also offers a variety of food and drink options, including Neapolitan pizza, Swiss cheese, pasta served in a giant cheese wheel, and seasonal cocktails. Visitors can enjoy activities like iceless curling, holiday lightings, and craft workshops. Snowport is wheelchair and stroller friendly with recommended parking at the One Seaport Garage. The Seaport area also hosts new restaurants for additional dining options. And in entertainment news, here's our top three recommendations for streaming this weekend. First up, 
Slow Horses on Apple TV+. Season 3 has a great storyline and is super suspenseful. Speaking of suspenseful, I'm on the edge of my seat for 90 minutes every week when the new episode of A Murder at the End of the World is on. It's a great limited series that you can catch on Hulu or FX Network. Also, we are looking forward to season three of Reacher on Amazon Prime, which premieres this weekend. And here's a bonus recommendation. Fargo, season five on Hulu and FX, starring John Hamm. That should leave you with plenty of things to watch this weekend in addition to your Christmas movies and football games. Happy streaming. Well, alrighty, folks, it's time for the thought of the day. From philosopher Swami Vivekananda, we are what our thoughts have made us, so take care about what you think. Words are secondary, thoughts live, and they travel far. So think about an awesome weekend, and so it shall be. And that's a wrap for this week. We did it. Keep an eye out tomorrow for a bonus episode. Have an amazing weekend, my good friends. Stay safe and enjoy yourself to the fullest. We'll be back soon with another Sunny Mornings podcast. Thanks for tuning in.